everyone and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, I did want to say a quick thank you to all the people who have been leaving comments or messaging me on Twitter just kind of in um, support of me and um, when I'm going through with my divorce and everything. It really means more to me than you guys know. I was like in tears reading your comments uh, and I'm trying not to cry now. What is with all the crying? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Your guys' support really means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, I can't even put it in words how much I appreciate it. But um, yeah, thank you so much to everybody. Um, but this video is going to be my yeps and nopes for November. I feel like I don't have too many things because I was traveling and um, a lot of things I am trying to use up for a project pan, so I wasn't trying too many new things. I also didn't purchase a lot of makeup this past month. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. The only skincare related thing I really have is the face slash food all natural skincare raw shea butter balm. And this is just shea butter and essential oils. But you can see I have like really dug in there. Um, one of the reasons that I love this is because a lot of times when you use a lotion, you know, your hands get like all sticky and I hate that feeling. Um, and this just melts into your skin. I've been using it a lot, especially on my hands uh, because they have been so dry with the colder weather and have just been really like been liking this. I did receive this in a monthly subscription service. So um, I never tried anything from this brand, but I've been really enjoying that. And that's really the only skincare related thing that I have. Um, moving on to makeup, I wanted to mention the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer, and I have it in the shade 100, um, which I think is the lightest shade. And this is definitely a full coverage concealer. You don't need a lot of this. It also has one of these kinds of applicators, so it's very easy just to apply it. Uh, a lot of people, when I was reading the reviews, say that this is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I haven't tried the Tarte Shape Tape in a while, so I can't tell you for sure. If you guys want me to do a comparison, um, I can definitely do that, so let me know down below. But I have been really liking this, and it's really affordable. Definitely full coverage, uh, and it has become one of my favorite concealers for under my eyes, especially because I just always look tired. Um, the next thing is a highlighter, and this is from Essence. It's their Pure Nude Highlighter, and this is definitely a more subtle, like glow from within highlighter. It's not what I'm wearing today. I'm testing out a different highlighter today, but um, I brought this with me to Florida, and I wore it an awful lot. It's just a really pretty everyday highlighter that I dropped. Oh, I didn't break it. Um, but yeah, I have been really liking this, and Essence is super affordable, so you know I gotta throw that in there. Um, something that is not super affordable that I am kind of obsessed with is the Kat Von D Satan Center palette. I did do a few full fit fit. I can't speak. I did do a full review on this. If you are curious, I will leave it down below. Um, but I'm kind of obsessed with this, and you can do so many different looks with it. The shadows are just super gorgeous and I don't know I'm just obsessed I can't help it I just love this palette so much and um, I originally was not even going to purchase this palette because of the price and now that I have it I'm really happy that I do um, just have been really liking it you can create so many different looks with it and yeah I'm just obsessed with it uh, the next palette is more affordable. It's the ColourPop I Think I Love You, which I also did a review on this, so I'll leave it down below. But you can probably tell I've really dug into some of these shades. Um, the shade on the top here called Girls Bite, I have especially been using this on my lower lash line and have been really liking that. And I've just been using it a lot. I did take this with me to Florida because it is on the smaller side, so it's a little bit easier to travel with. And um, I've just been really liking it. And I feel like this is good for kind of everyday looks, but you can also do like night out looks. You can do kind of smoky looks. Like I feel like you can just do a million things with this, even though it's a smaller palette. So I've been really liking that. Um, let me try and not drop my Kat Von D palette. Uh, I have two lip products to mention today. One of them is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. And this is in Goth Topic. If you've seen me wear a 
dark red, really vampy lip. It was probably this one. Um, this has just been one of my favorites this month and I don't know why I've just been obsessed with vampy lips lately. I say that as I'm wearing a bright red, but you know, bright red's like the shade I usually wear anyways. But um, I have just been really liking this and these last a very long time on your lips and this shade in particular just screams autumn, winter to me for some reason. Uh, and then the other one I have is from ColourPop and this is in the shade Circles. I think this was part of their fall collection if I'm not mistaken. And I will say it looks different in the tube than when you actually put it on. I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand there. Um, so it's kind of like a cranberry, I don't wanna say red. I don't know how to explain this shade, I really don't. But um, I've been wearing this one an awful lot and every time I wear it, I do get compliments on it because it's just really unique. Like it's somewhere between pink and red. It also has the purple in there. Like I don't know how to explain this shade, but it is just really pretty and have been using it a lot. Um, so that is it for my yups. I do have a few nopes this month. Um, the first one is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, and this is a little, I just got lipstick all over it. Um, this is a little mini. I bought a set, and um, I didn't notice this doing anything for my skin, and then I started noticing like some breakouts right where I put it, and then I heard um, Nicole Concilio, Concilio, I can't speak, uh, say that this gave her some uh, breakouts as well as some people that she knew. And so when I heard her say that, I'm like, I'm going to stop using this. And within days of not using this, my skin started to clear up. So I don't know if this is just isn't good for sensitive skin. I know some people really like this, but I didn't notice it doing anything for my skin. And I do think this was causing some breakouts. So I don't plan on using that anymore. Um, the next one I actually put back in its Box. It is the ColourPop Aquamarine Crystal Setting Spray. And um, really the main reason I don't like this is because how aggressively it sprays. Like I have no idea how you're supposed to use this as a setting spray because this is one of those sprays that just like gives you drops of liquid everywhere and messes up makeup. So I don't really know how you're supposed to use this. Um, I tried using it a few times and I'm just not a fan. Sorry if you are, but yeah, I did not like that one. Uh, and the last thing, I did a review on this as well, and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. And um, I think this just isn't a palette for me. It is super glittery, and I did notice it emphasizing texture and dryness. Um, so maybe if you don't have those issues, it would work fine for you. Maybe if you like more glittery highlighters, um, but I just didn't like it. I used the shades to test them out and then I just put it to the side after my review. Like I have not used this at all since I reviewed it because I just don't personally like it. And the formula is different than their individual, um, shades, which I did go over that in my review as well. And I really wish I had kind of kept to the original formula. Um, yeah, just don't really like it. I'm sorry. Um, but that is it for my yups and nopes. Let me know down below what you guys have been enjoying this month. I say this month even though it's now December. What you have been enjoying lately. The video is going up a little later than normal um, for obvious reasons. But uh, I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.